currently starting a clinical study where we're examining the use of PRP um, in a couple different scenarios. Basically, we're, um, we're just starting the study. We're going to be examining it in cases of meniscal repair. The meniscus is a disc in the knee that's very commonly injured. Um, the problem with meniscus repairs is the meniscus doesn't have a very good blood supply. So repairs can sometimes heal, sometimes not. We're trying to see if you, if you add PRP, will that increase the healing rate of meniscal repairs? We're also studying whether you can use it with ACL surgeries and if that makes the ACL surgery heal in faster. And then rotator cuff surgeries in the shoulder as well as labrum uh, injuries in the shoulder. The labrum is a soft tissue disc going around the shoulder joint and is frequently injured in athletes. When someone dislocates their shoulder or uh, in pitchers, they'll sometimes get a tear in the labrum on the top of the shoulder that requires surgery. Once again, it doesn't have the best blood flow of certain places in the body, so we're trying to examine whether adding PRP to those types of surgeries will increase the healing rates. Uh, it sounds like a lot of the injuries that the, the therapy is used for currently are sports-related injuries. I mean, are there other types of injuries that uh, you've also seen its use? Yes. I mean, it's really, um, once again, as the literature is... Uh, starting to be uh, coming out and essentially the studies are being done currently, we're going to be able to determine exactly where PRP is the most effective. But right now it's, it's basically being used in lots of different types of surgeries, not just orthopedics, not just plastics or uh, maxillary, but just about any surgeries in the body, some surgeons may be adding PRP. I know that in uh, joint replacement surgery, in total knees and total hips, some surgeons take and spray the PRP on after they're done. So they'll put the total hip in or the total knee into the patient spray down the whole area with PRP to kind of cover it with a fine layer of the platelets before closing the wound, hoping that this will help in the healing process. But these things are all uh, remain to be seen, whether they make a significant difference or is it just an additional step that doesn't make too much of a difference. Now as more media attention is focused on the procedure, have you seen any myths or uh, inaccuracies circulating that Absolutely. are worth dispelling? Yeah, well, the biggest myth that's worth dispelling is that PRP is not the panacea. It's not the, um, the thing that will replace all surgery. I get a lot of patients coming into my office for a variety of different issues and everyone asks me if PRP will help them. It, it, literature really uh, remains to be seen exactly what cases will help and what cases won't. But just taking an injury and injecting in PRP is not going to make the pain go away and the injury improve. You still need traditional surgery in a lot of different cases, and there are plenty of cases where PRP just doesn't seem to fit. Uh, the body will heal itself in those areas, and injecting PRP isn't really going to make a difference. So it's important to recognize that while it might become a very important tool in surgery, it's not the thing that should be done all the time or is needed all the time.